We're ready to go, folks. Time to get this one started. And then you have Ember Moon, a standout example in the ring of pure wrestling ability and fighting spirit. Underestimate Ember Moon at your own risk. It could be the last thing you ever do. Working for control. Boom! What impact! Now we have Ember Moon on the attack. Into the collar and elbow tie-up. Only one competitor comes out ahead here. Controlling the tempo. Drop kick from behind! And Ember Moon, too quick. Big back body drop! Very curious move to go for a pinfall at this point. Yeah, this is way too early to be going for the win. Spinebuster! Watching Ember Moon the past few years, Corey, one thing I've learned is that her drive to succeed may be unmatched. I don't disagree, Cole, it's that drive that makes her so hard to defeat and nearly impossible to game plan for. How do you prepare for a woman who refuses to lose? Here's a tag. Opponent off the ropes. Big backdrop. Dakota Kai into the cover. Ember Moon with an easy kick out. Not yet. Too early. Oh, and a kick right to the hamstring. Oh, what a kick. Probably not going to wait for a couple hundred years, Byron. You know why? Being put into knots. Battling to get the upper hand. She fights out. But that doesn't mean the damage wasn't already done, Michael. Turn your lights out. Solid contact from Dakota Kai. The better part of Valor. Wicked body shot. What a hurricane. Three. Dakota Kai able to counter beautifully. As Corey mentioned, preparing for Ember is not easy, especially given that she has no quit in her. But that said, Byron, perhaps replicating what Shayna Baszler did to Ember at TakeOver New Orleans would be a good approach. Well, as vicious as it may sound, if Ember refuses to quit, you might have more of a choice than to render her unconscious. Go for the run. The follow-away slam. She's feeling the hurt here. The good news is that if it gets too out of control, she has her partner she can tag in while she catches her breath in the corner. Seven. Oh, nasty impact. Eight. Great counter. Impressive in-ring IQ on display. Nine. When you talk about great tag teams, we can go all the way back to teams like the Tolos brothers, Stevens and Patterson, Stevens and Bachwinkle, the Texas Outlaws, the Briscoes, the Blackjacks, the Andersons, and the list goes on and on. When you're part of a tag team, the two partners have to travel together, train together, eat together, and be completely in sync with one another. And a kick to boot. Oof. Absolutely has to make a tag here. Yeah, but that's easier said than done, Michael. She's almost there. Just a bit more. And I have never seen her partner more amped up than she is right now, Cole. A missed attempt there. Go for the ride. The fallaway slam. Tagged in. You know, there's just so much at stake for these teams in this match. A win in this one is just absolutely huge.
Momentum, the big M, the key word. It can switch and change at any time. Big reversal. Hits the mark. Elusive movement there. Uh-oh. Headbutt. Nothing fancy there. Five. Back now inside the ring. Ooh, bullseye. Looking bad for her here. The good news is that if it gets too out of control, she has her partner she can tag in while she catches her breath in the corner. Oh, it didn't go as planned there. What grace! Float over into the DDT! Fight! Check out WWE.com for all the profiles of the great women superstars. clear of this one. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw these teams going back to it at some point in the very near future. 